On October the 2nd, 2006, a man walks into a one-room Amish schoolhouse in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. And there he kills five little girls before killing himself. Now, the man had a wife, kids of his own, he had a good job, he hadn't been provoked, he even knew some of the families of those kids he killed. So you can't help but ask, why would someone do that? It's kind of the same question I ask when I read about how Jehoram turned completely from God in 2 Chronicles 21. I mean, Jehoram had a grandfather who followed after God, and God blessed him and the nation for it. And then Jehoram had a father who, with a couple of exceptions, followed after God. But when you get to Jehoram, he completely turned his back on God. Now, yes, his father had followed after some wicked kings of Israel, but surely his father would have warned him of the costliness of that before he handed over the throne to him. Maybe Jehoram was just one of those people that was rebellious by nature. We don't know, but we know what happens when you choose that route, when you choose to follow someone or something else other than God. You lose the blessing. You lose control of your life. You don't achieve your desires, you achieve your nightmares. And in the end of the chapter, it is said that when Jehoram died, no one was sad. That's a terrible, terrible epitaph to leave. So this week, ask yourself, whose desires am I following after? God's or mine? I'll leave you with that. See you next week. Mm -hmm.